lahat. Ako po si G. Tonji, ang inyong kababayan mula sa Los Angeles, California. Simulan na natin ang mga balita mula sa Asian Journal. Asian Journal, the leading Filipino-American newspaper since 1991. Joining us in the studio here in Los Angeles is Annie Nepomuceno. Hello, G. Kamusta? Hello! At itong ating mga balita mula sa Asian Journal. Over the weekend, more than 60 million people were affected by Storm Jonas, which stretched from Georgia to Massachusetts. In New York City, the epic blizzard unloaded 26.8 inches of snow, making it the second biggest snowfall in the city's history. Ahead of the blizzard, travel bans were imposed in New York and other states, and individuals took to the stores to stock up on necessities. However, despite the the inclement weather many individuals didn't heed warnings to stay home and went to places like Central Park to snap photos and enjoy blankets of snow all right uh, I hope that everybody in New York City stayed warm uh, I have family there so talagang nagpapadala sila ng mga litrato uh, mm -hmm. ingit na ingit naman sila dahil dito sa Los Angeles eh hindi naman mainit pero hindi it's blizzard pleasant. yeah it's pleasant weather yes okay uh, on to our next story not very good news para sa mga kababayan natin sa Hawaii. A 65-year-old Filipina was allegedly stabbed to death by her husband of 35 years at their home in Oahu, Hawaii. Police found Melita Fahotina dead on the morning of January 18 with stab wounds on her neck and arrested her husband Isagani Fahotina on suspicion of second-degree murder. Isagani, a Viet Vietnam War veteran who relatives said suffered from mental health problems, was later released but remains hospitalized with a self-inflicted stab wound. Several relatives who live in the couple's home were witnesses to the domestic violence, including Melita's sister, who was also stabbed after trying to intervene. A recent study by Hawaii lawmakers found that 30% of domestic violence cases in the past decades have involved Filipinos. <laughs> Alright, so kailangan pag-usapan natin yan sa komunidad natin. One mm -hmm. is the issue of mental health. Yes, that's a big diba? issue. Diba? It is, kasi hindi pinag-uusapan. Yes, exactly. Oo, and another is domestic violence. Hindi po pwedeng okay yan sa komunidad natin na mm -hmm. porket babae ka, binubugbog ka ng asawa mo o sinasampal ka or whatever. Mm -hmm. Diba? Yes, that's true. Yes, okay, moving on to uh, a bit of good news for today. Continuing her tour as Miss Universe, Pia Wurzbach is in the Philippines this week where she has been partaking in several events such as a homecoming parade and meeting with government officials. Hundreds of Filipinos lined the streets on Monday as Pia's float traveled for three hours from Manila to Makati City on Tuesday, a panel house Pa passed a bill exempting Pia from paying taxes on her winnings, such as her salary and living quarters in New York. She also received a Congressional Medal of Distinction, the highest recognition the House of Representatives gives to anyone who excels in a non-political arena. Yes, and uh, I have very good news for mm -hmm. our kababayans. Uh, due to insistent public demand po, ang dami pong tumawag, nag-email sa amin mm -hmm. dito sa kababayan today. Hindi daw nila napanood yung aming exclusive interview with Pia Wurzbach that aired two weeks ago. Yes. Don't worry, we are re-airing that for all of you tomorrow here on Kababayan Today. It's a two-part special. So yeah, mapapanood nyo po yan dito sa Kababayan Today. All right? Uh, and uh, Annie, once again, thank you for being here. Here sharing the news with us this morning. Thank you so much, G. All right. And when we return, the recent press conference of Manny Pacquiao and Timothy Bradley. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back. <laughs> 